This video presentation is going to be on analogous colors. So the first thing we're going to do, let's say get rid of that, is we're going to go back to the hue circle. And what we want to do is um, look at the relationships of colors. Um, previously, when you constructed your hue circles, we see that we have our primary colors, our secondary colors, and our e intermediate colors. The word analogous typically, if you look it up on the internet or in a book, typically an, analog an analogous color is simply colors that are next door to each other, like colors from the left to the right. So in this case, a yellow is analogous to or a yellow orange and a yellow green is analogous to yellow. So these three colors would be considered analogous. I take the concept a little bit further. Um, I'd, I'd like to use the example of, uh, let's say you lived on the third floor of a high rise building and uh, you had a neighbor that was um, really loud and you called home and spoke to your mother and said, I'm really upset because my neighbor was playing loud music all night and I got no sleep. And your mother then will ask, well, which neighbor are you referring to? Now, keep in mind, if you live in a high rise, you have a neighbor across the hall. You have a neighbor to the left. You have a neighbor to the right. We also have a neighbor down below you as well as a neighbor above you. So the idea of being next door to somebody or being analogous does not necessarily go left to right. As a matter of fact, when we take that concept, and here is an example of, you know, colors that are relationship from left to right, um, but we could also look at colors and analogous colors in the tertiary palette. You know, when we mix two complementary colors together, we get this group of colors right in here that are muddy, they're low in uh, saturation. These are the colors that are called tertiary colors. And these colors also, you know, we look at them in terms of them being complementary by relationship. But when you start looking at them in proximity to each other, they can also be considered analogous to each other. Another way I like to be able to describe analogous colors is by using the example of a grapefruit. If you consider the rind, or if you consider the pure hues on the hue circle as the rind of the grapefruit, the, the tertiary colors are all the, 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 the colors that sort of represent the meat of the grapefruit. So all of these colors that would be inside of here, which are the muddy tertiary colors, these would all be analogous to each other as well, and also considered as part of a, an analogous palette. Next, what we're going to do is, so we're looking at colors that go left to right as being analogous, but we're also looking at colors that have the relationship of going across from each other. Now, clearly, if I were to compare yellow to violet, that relationship is clearly um, complementary. But if I were to look at this, this um, hue here, this tertiary color here, and compare it to this tertiary color right here, those two colors are analogous to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this concept of the grapefruit or the hue circle, and I'm going to put it on its back. And what we're going to end up having is something that looks like this. So here we put the grapefruit on its side. We have the um, hue circle on the equator here. And then after we have colors from the hue circle that go up to the, and now I what I want you to do is think of this as a three-dimensional globe um, or the earth. And at the North Pole, we have white. And in this hemisphere, we have all of our tints. And then at the, at the, uh, the Southern hemisphere down here, we have our shades, so it's all the colors plus black are our shades, all our colors plus white are our tints, and so therefore tertiary, excuse me, analogous colors can be a color with its tint, a color with its complement, or a color with a shade. So this allows us to actually look at uh, colors in many different directions or analogous relationships in many different directions. We could look at it in terms of left to right, which are our hues. 
We could look at it up and down, which would include our tints at the top, our shades at the bottom, and then we give it a three-dimensional aspect, which allows us to go across the hue circle, providing us with our tertiary colors that work um, across the hue circle. So analogous colors just don't go left to right. They go um, up and down, tints and shades, and they can go across the hue circle from um, complementary mixtures and video.